you're talking to the Rolex wearing, diamond ring wearing, kiss stealing, woo, wheeling dealing, limousine riding, jet flying, son of a gun, and I'm having a hard time holding these alligators down. G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, please share this video, support your boy, support good content at all times. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Box with G5 Jeff TV. That's B O X W I T G5 Jeff TV. And if you guys don't mind, hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I drop that heat. Adrian the Problem Broner is coming off of a really, really good fight against Jesse Vargas. Them two went at it. Nose to nose. Both of them showed a really, really good effort and a good amount of skill. And it ended up being a draw. Julie Letterman had it 115, 113. Broner, the other two judges had it 114, 114 even. Now, a lot of people had the scores a lot of different ways. People had it 7 5, Broner. Some people had it 6-6 six, six, even, a draw. Some people had it 7-5 Vargas. Um, my, homie, uh, my homie Supreme had an 8-4 Broner. I had a couple people on my live um, my live stream for that fight having it 8-4 Vargas. So that fight was a contrast of styles. It was really the tale of two halves of the fight and it really tested how you actually score rounds when you're judging rounds and everybody has their own criteria on how they score rounds some people like the activity and the body work that Jesse Vargas was doing and some people like the the check left hooks the um the Mayweather straight right hands and um the hard shots that Adrian Broner was throwing, them, them little flashy shots, flashy combinations that Adrian Broner was throwing. So it really depended on what you like. So can't really be mad at the draw. Um, if you was judging the fight based off of just the face, Broner definitely won the fight because Jesse Fargus' face looked like he definitely was in a fight. Now, even though the fight was a really, really good fight, Adrian Broner actually has some options. He actually has some options. Um, general thinking would be he would just go right back into a rematch with Jesse Vargas. But a recent report came out where Amir Khan actually expressed interest in fighting Adrian Broner. And this is not the first time that this conversation has been had. Adrian Broner, Amir Khan, the names has been linked, but Amir Khan wants for Adrian Broner to actually go to the UK and fight him. So I'm going to put the link in the description because it was basically an ESPN article where Amir Khan expressed interest in fighting Adrian Broner. But that actually made me think of this question. Should Adrian Broner go immediately into a rematch with Jesse Vargas or should he take Amir Khan up on his offer and go to the UK and fight Amir Khan now you may think Amir Khan is bluffing calling out Adrian Broner and if you feel that way that's cool that's cool that's not a problem and with Jesse Vargas it was a good fight but if you notice, everybody had their different scorecards. Everybody was talking about the fight. But you don't hear a lot of people actually talking about, like, the rematch or when the rematch is going to happen or people screaming and demanding a rematch. Like, people was like, oh, yeah, it was a real good fight. But people aren't like, well, Jesse Vargas got robbed or Adrian Broner got robbed. Like, they absolutely have to run it back. Like, it wasn't a situation like that. It wasn't like a um, Tim Bradley, Manny Pacquiao first fight where they gave Tim Bradley the decision when we all knew that he lost that fight and then people was coming out with videos of the fight in slow motion and all this and all that. So 
the thing is sometimes really good fights don't have that rematch demand to it you know like wilder ford ortiz it was a good fight really good fight a fight of the year type fight but nobody's really screaming for the rematch like Jared Hurd and Ares Landy Lara, they had a classic fight, a unification fight. But in the general public, you don't hear a lot of people clamoring for that um, for that rematch. You know, so this is a really, really legitimate question for Adrian Broner, not only from a boxing career standpoint, but from a money standpoint, let's get to the money standpoint. If Broner goes out to the UK to fight Amir Khan, that they're selling out a stadium somewhere. They're selling out a stadium. They could pay Adrian Broner four or five million dollars to actually go to the UK and fight Amir Khan. And if he gets a five million dollar bag to fight Amir Khan in the UK, which is a winnable fight for Adrian Broner, like that's it would take him about probably about four fights for him to make five million dollars with Al Heyman because Al Heyman's paying him probably like anywhere between a million and like 1.3 so it could take him yeah like four fights at least four fights to get close to that five million dollar mark at the rate that Al Heyman is paying him so that's something for Adrian Broner to consider. Like, if Eddie Hearn calls him and say, hey, listen, you come out here to the UK, you know, we'll give you a $5 million bag, and then we'll give you some uh, we'll give you some upside on the, uh, on the pay-per-views. Like, Broner can't just look at that offer and just sneeze at it. Like, that's something that he would have to legitimately think about. Because if he fights Amir Khan, no matter where it's at, no matter if it's in the Barclays Center in the States, if it's in Vegas in the States, or it's in the UK, for Broner, it's either get a knockout or lose on the cards. So with this particular fight against Amir Khan, for Adrian Broner, it shouldn't matter where the fight is. The mission should be the same. Knockout or lose by the, on the cards. Because Amir Khan is going to win those rounds on the cards. That's going to be a matter of, will Adrian Broner catch Amir Khan with some shit and get him up out of there? That's going to be the main question with that fight. Everything else, there's no questions about. At the end of the day, Amir Khan is going to out quick, out speed, out move Adrian Broner. And he could possibly be just be styling on Adrian Broner but he's going to be banking on getting in exchanges with Amir Khan and that's when he's going to have his opportunity and if he fights Amir Khan the same way he fought Jesse Vargas after round four he might knock Amir Khan clean out just chin glass all over the ring you understand what I'm saying so it's something for him to think about now the Jesse Vargas rematch now Adrian Broner had one of his classic rants after the fight and uh, some people loved it some people hated it and that's why some people love AB that's why some people hate AB some people think he's entertaining some people think Adrian Broner got mental problems depending on who you ask so the first fight and the post fight interview it's a backdrop storyline for the rematch they could run it back in the same place they could run it back at the Barclay Center they will probably get the exact same amount of people to come out. Um, you know, with Adrian Broner having that little issue with Takashi 69, I think that added some numbers. And Takashi 69 was actually supposed to walk Adrian Broner to the ring, even though they were going back and forth um, on the ground, which I thought was a, a publicity stunt anyway, but I just thought it was entertaining. But I do think Takashi 69 had something to do with Adrian Broner letting them hands go a little bit more than usual um <laughs> which is funny it takes a rainbow hair colored rapper for you to throw them hands a little bit more but that's neither here nor there adrian broner could go into this rematch against jesse vargas and everybody would watch it it would be another good fight 
But would that rematch actually do anything positive for his career, even if he got a victory, even if he knocked out Jesse Vargas? Would we be looking at Adrian Broner in a different light and be saying, okay, A.B. is back. He beat Jesse Vargas. A.B. is back. I don't know. Like, some people are saying A.B. is back now off of a draw against Jesse Vargas. And then you got some people that are saying that Adrian Broner is done. He's still done. You know what I'm saying? And the thing that I've realized when people criticize Adrian Broner, they criticize him based off of him comparing himself to Floyd Mayweather. He's supposed to be the next guy. So when people watch Adrian Broner fight, they're expecting they want to see a plus level. They want to see Floyd Mayweather esque type performances and the performances don't match the talk. You know what I'm saying? Like Adrian Broner's mouth, you know, puts a price tag that the ass can't cash. And that's just what it is with Adrian Broner. So if you just look at Adrian Broner as a B-level fighter and you look at him for what he is, which is a B-level fighter, then I think you can evaluate him fairly. There's a lot of technical things that he does wrong that he needs to clean up. That's because I look at him as a B fighter. He is a B fighter. He's not an A fighter. He's not a C fighter. He is a B fighter. That's just what it is. He's not on Floyd Mayweather's level. He never will be on Floyd Mayweather's level. He was doing his thing as far as marketing like Floyd Mayweather, but just what he was doing in the ring just wasn't matching up. And that's just, it, it is what it is at the end of the day. And Adrian Broner, I think from here on out, he should just be making the biggest fights for the biggest amount of cash that he can possibly get. So if I was AB, and this is only me, if I was AB, I would seriously consider going over to the UK and getting possibly four or five million dollars. Now, a lot of my subscribers is in the UK and y'all would have to let me know how much you think they would pay AB to come out to the UK to fight in Amir Khan. But I'm thinking off the top of my head between at least four or five million dollars. And that's way more than what he would make here in the States against anybody. So y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Should Adrian Broner entertain this Amir Khan call out and for him to go to the UK? Or should he jump right into a rematch against Jesse Vargas? Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. g 5 TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.